In this video, we're going to pick up where the last one left off and expand beyond the basic structure of amino acids into the way in which they're classified, or one way in which they're traditionally classified. Recall that the basic structure of an amino acid is an amino group opposite a carboxyl across a central carbon, and a hydrogen and a side chain, or R group, occupying the final position. And amino acids, again, are categorized by the chemical composition of the side chain. So the 20 amino acids used to build proteins differ in what's in the side chain position. Let's just look at some examples and see how they can be categorized. We'll start with an amino acid called isoleucine. And if you notice, in the side chain of isoleucine are two terminal methyl groups. That makes this a hydrophobic or nonpolar amino acid. Several other amino acids fit into this category. Here we have serine. Serine has an hydroxyl group in a terminal position on the side chain, which is able to easily form hydrogen bonds with water, making this a polar or hydrophilic amino acid. Glutamic acid's name kind of gives it away, but here you see that there's an extra carboxyl group in the terminal position of this side chain, and so glutamic acid and similar amino acids have an acidic property to them. Whereas lysine, seen here, instead of a carboxyl, has a terminal amino group, making it a basic amino acid. So this is a major way in which amino acids are categorized by side chains as nonpolar, polar, acidic, basic. Some authorities will make additional differentiations and subcategories. For our purposes in a basic course in human AMP, this is sufficient. I do want to make extra mention on the acidic and basic, however, that you want to remember if an acidic group can behave as an acid, that means off the carboxyl group it can donate a proton, and when it donates a hydrogen ion to solution, it takes on a negative charge. When the amino group in a basic amino acid accepts a hydrogen ion from solution, and it takes that hydrogen ion in, it takes on a positive charge. So in fact, acidic and basic groups, it's important to remember, acid side chains have a negative charge associated with them, and basics have a positive, meaning there's an opportunity for ionic type interactions, uh, ionic bond type interactions between them. Bottom line going forward into our next video is this. Proteins are amino acid polymers, and each protein is formed from a unique combination of 20 different amino acids. Those 20 amino acids will be categorized based on their side chains, and for our purposes, they can be categorized as polar, nonpolar, acidic, or basic. In the next video, we'll start to look at how proteins are put together and ultimately get into their true complex conformations.